A well, new at six, it's been nearly nine months since a powerful EF4 tornado tore through Bryan County, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. Several county buildings and facilities sustained damage, and those rebuilding efforts are still underway. Our Brooke Butler checked out the progress for us today. She joins us now live from our newsroom. And Brooke, tell us how much work still needs to be done. Well, Shannon, while the tornado's damage is still clearly visible in parts of Pembroke and Ellabelle, the county has made a lot of progress. <laughs> Nearly nine months after a tornado caused millions of dollars worth of damage in Bryan County, rebuilding efforts are still happening. We've made great strides. At the Hendricks Park Athletic Complex in Pembroke, progress is being made. It's really amazing the, the quickness in which we've been able to rebuild this park. You can see the county has replaced the turf football and soccer field. Now they're turning their attention to the baseball and softball fields with the goal of having them ready by the spring season. When we get the uh, baseball and softball fields back up by February 1st. I mean, that'll be, you know, that'll be about half of the park. And then, you know, the gym is the only thing that's left to, to reconstruct. Over at the county courthouse, they're waiting on insurance before moving forward with construction. Most of the roof it has been uh, reconstructed, but soon hopefully we'll be able to move on the interior reconstruction. At the nearby county offices, they're hoping to complete construction by the middle of 2023. We just got approval for our administration building in Pembroke, so uh, they did some demo on the front lobby of that. At the jail, they're waiting on some technicalities before inmates can return. Right now, we're working on some of the safety features like the uh, locking system and the fire suppression system. Uh, we have to get that approved by the fire marshal and uh, engineers to get uh, those uh, inmates back into that facility. And as for how all of this is being paid for. So far, we haven't had to spend any money out of the general budget to to fund any of this reconstruction. It's been an insurance claim. And Brooke, you mentioned the inmates still haven't returned to the jail. So where are they being housed right now? Shannon, a lot of them are being housed at the Liberty County Jail, and I'm told it's costing roughly $50,000 a month to keep them there. Mm. But the county tells me that insurance is covering a lot of that as well. Shannon. All right. Thanks so much, Brooke, for that report.